Hello everybody, in today's video, I have some tips for mastering Mixology. Tip number one, go to the plugin hub and download this plugin, the Mastering Mixology. It'll make your life really easy. It highlights the potions for you, it tells you the order on the top left there, and it highlights the machine which you need to go to. Tip number two for the machines, the plugin's gonna highlight the machine green. When that happens, just click. For the crystallization, you wanna click once, for the homogenizer, when it turns green, you want to click twice. And for the concentration, all you need to do is spam click. Tip number three. You can hit the levers as many times as you want. You're not going to lose any resources. It's only once you take the potion does it go away. Tip four. While you're making potions, a mature digweed is going to appear every now and then, and it's going to be all green. Whatever you're doing, you want to just quickly go grab it because you got 20 seconds before it despawns. What it does is it doubles the points that you get from a potion. So the Mal potion typically gives 60 points. With the digweed, you'll get 120. Tip 5. You can only have one digweed in your inventory at all times. No more is going to keep spawning. So what you want to do is make a potion that you can just store it temporarily. I do the Mal Potion because it will give you double the points, and the Mal Potion gives you 20 of each, so with the Digweed, it'll be 40 of each. I recommend you do this if you're 77 or above, because you could just do the Botanical Pie, and you'll be boosted to 81. So you'll be able to use the Mal Potions, as well as have better XP rates. If you're lower level, I'm pretty sure you could still make the Mal Potion and use the Digweed inside of it, and then you could just bank the potion. And then use them when you're 77. Tip 6. Have your screen zoomed out enough so you can see all the digweeds, so when they appear, you can grab them right away. Tip 7. When you're concentrating a potion, be careful you don't spam click all the way till the end, because if you had a second potion in your inventory, it will automatically start making that one. Which isn't too bad, you just have to wait until that potion appears for that station on the order list. Or just turn it in for a loss for 10 points. Tip 8. If you accidentally break the plugin, what most likely is happening is you left a potion in one of the stands. It happens most often on the concentrate one, but it can happen on the other ones. The plugin will still function showing the green mark to let you know when to click, but it won't tell you in purple what machine to go to for the potion. You have to know that yourself. But again, easy fix, just go finish off the potion in that stand and it'll be working just as normal. Tip 9. Feel free to mark these tiles on your screen. I'll probably put a pastebin in the description, but the moment you pass these lines, your digweed is going to disappear. That's why it's better to just put it in a potion before you cross this line. Tip 10. The potion order doesn't matter. For instance, Marley's Moonlight. It's blue, blue, red. That order doesn't matter because there's no other blue, blue, red in the potion order. So you can do red blue blue or blue red blue it's still going to come out as marley's moonlight potion i'm not saying to just do this on purpose i'm just saying if you mess up instead of like wiping the whole board and starting all over if you just match the colors you're fine tip 11 not a huge tip but basically if you make two potions or you're saving like mal potions with the digweed Make sure it's on the bottom right because it takes the topmost potion first. As you see, I switched the Mal with this uh, MML one and it took it first. Tip 12. I've already been telling you about it, but if you are 77, you can use a botanical pie as well as a preserve prayer to be able to boost to 81 and get the better XP rates as well as access to the Mal potion. Tip 13. You are being forced to do this. If you ever plan on doing herb lore in the future, you need these goggles and this alchemist amulet to save you a bunch of money. Reagent pouch, not so much. It's just, you know, storage for Slay or whatnot. Chugging barrel, I recommend just going bossing for two, three hours with a friend. Not this brain numbing thing that doesn't even give you good XP. The Aldarium, uh, if you want to use the points that are spare, go for it. I don't recommend it. But just remember you're doing this not for the XP, just for those items. If you want XP, honestly, stay far away from this place. It's garbage. They need to like make the XP two or three times better than this to make it 
more viable. Instead of doing this, just go with a friend. Go Boston. Go do like General Grard or, or Ziliana. And do that for like three, four hours. Get one drop. Split it in half as you normally do. For Ziliana, it's basically like 20 million. And then with that 20 million, if you already have upfront cash, if not, you just slowly make it. You're going to get way more XP. Like, let me put this into perspective. To even do this little activity, you need to be at the minimum of 60 Herbalore. 60. And to get the best XP rates here, you need bare minimum 77, boosting to 81 with the botanist pie or whatever. And let's just say you can get 125k XP, even though you can't do it here. 125k experience an hour here. This super click intensive thing. At level 50, 52 even. You already unlock the Fishing Potion, Super Energy Potion. It's already almost 300k XP an hour. Three times faster than this thing. And literally AFK. Take out 14, take out 14, bam. You wait a few seconds. Versus this, it's constantly clicking, constantly paying attention. Anyways, I hope this video helped. Basically what I think, garbage update, only good thing is the aggression potion or goading potion, if you will, and the prayer regen potion. Apart from that, garbage activity needs to boost up the XP rates. Or make it more AFK. With that, I'll see you in the next one. Maybe. Bye.